Okay, so we'll take a quick look today at the different interface, the main different interfaces and the speed differences between them. I've got two hard drives here. I've got a Western Digital My Passport drive here. This has both USB 2 and Firewire interfaces and I've got a, another Western Digital drive in here. It's just in a different external caddy with a USB 3 interface as we can see just there. Now this drive, the My Passport Studio, comes with obviously a Western Digital hard drive. I believe it's a 5400 RPM. I've got exactly the same hard drive installed into this caddy, so another Western Digital 5400 RPM drive in this caddy as well to keep things fair between the two. So the spindle speed, the hard drive speed between the two is exactly the same. Now the, uh, the other interface we're missing at the moment is Thunderbolt. I have got Thunderbolt drive on its way to me so we'll take a look at that in a future video. But considering Thunderbolt is very expensive, it's probably out of reach for most people. Um, a 240 gig Elgato Thunderbolt drive with an SSD built in is about £400 in the UK, so about probably around about five five or six hundred dollar mark. Very expensive, so we're taking a look at the more affordable interfaces today and we'll have a quick look at the actual ports themselves, the actual cables, and then we'll move on to the actual speed tests. So let's have a quick look at these interfaces. We can see here, if I focus into this, we've got a USB 2. This, uh, you get to USB 2 in both micro and mini sizes. Uh, so this is the micro USB 2 and we've got two Firewire 800 ports here and the difference between the USB 2 and USB 3 we can see here so the micro USB 3 it's almost as though it's got two parts to it but there are your different ports right there if we take a look at the actual cables we can see there's your Firewire 800 cable that's the micro USB 2 that we use for our USB 2 drive and that's a USB 3 cable there. So we can see the USB 3 looks completely different to the USB 2. Now the other end of the Firewire is exa ex exactly the same so we've got the same at both ends with the Firewire cable and with USB now to most people the other end may look exactly the same other than the colour However, on the inside, you probably can't see it through the camera, so you're going to have to trust me on this one. But on the inside, the USB 2 here has four pins, which you can see just there. So a standard USB 2 has four pins, whereas a USB 3 has four pins at the front, but then has another five pins behind the four. So you will see that if you have a USB 3 cable, we'll take a quick look, and you will see your four standard pins and another five behind. Um, so there's the differences between the interfaces. What we'll do now, we'll connect these uh, up to a to my MacBook and uh, we'll do some speed tests in between all three different interfaces and we'll take a look. Really what we're probably, in theory, USB 2 will be the slowest, then it will be a Firewire 800 and USB 3 should obviously be the, the faster drive out of the lot. So uh, we'll hook these up, we'll do some uh, speed tests and we'll take a look if that is actually what happens in practice. So this is the 5400 RPM hard drive installed within uh, my MacBook directly. So this will give us a good comparison as to what the actual speed of the drive is. So we're getting a write of about 100 and a read around the same mark. So both 100 read and write. So we'll compare that to the external. So again, this is internally connected into the actual laptop itself. So we'll compare this to the external interfaces. So I'm now connecting the USB 2 external drive into my laptop here. And we'll just change the target drive so it's pointing towards the USB 2 drive and we'll start another speed test here and we can see straight away is much lower uh, much lower speeds than having the drive internal around the 36 meg write and around the 38 read so much slower than having the internal drive let's take a look at Firewire now and see how that differs 
So just connecting the Firewire 800 drive to my laptop here. Remember that the internal drive within the enclosure is the exact same speed uh, and so on. We'll just start the speed test here. And there we go, we can see that the write speed is almost double that over USB 2, which is what makes the drive so great for video editing and so on. Read speed is around the same as USB 2. So around the same read and around double the write speed. Let's take a look at USB 3 now. So just plug in the USB drive here, select again select the target disk here we go and let's start this test well straight away it peaked at 100 just there so it's peaking up at around the 100 mark and the read again is around the 100 marks that's around exactly the same as we would achieve by having the drive installed internally into the system so uh, just like the internal drive. So the drive is at its peak performance and there's no interface bottleneck between the drive and the system whatsoever. Okay, so what have we, have we seen here? We've seen that the stock hard drive with no bottleneck, with no interface bottleneck whatsoever in, installed within a laptop gives us around about 100 meg read and write speeds. So that's the, the most that the hard drive can possibly give us is around 100 meg read and write speeds when installed within a system. Uh, we've seen that USB 2 is the slowest out of all. So you, with the USB 2, the bottleneck is not the, not the actual drive. The actual interface is the bottleneck. We've seen the same with Firewire 800. It's the actual interface that's the bottleneck. So the, the drive isn't being used as quickly as it can. It's the actual interface that is the bottleneck so that the drive cannot read or write to its full capacity because of the interfaces. With USB 3 that's completely changed. We've seen with the USB 3 drive that the bottleneck is not no longer the interface. The bottleneck is the drive itself. So we're getting the maximum speeds of the drive which we saw from our testing the maximum speeds that the drive can possibly give us around that 100 meg read and write we are still achieving even though the drive is external from the system USB is no longer the bottleneck here, the bottleneck is the actual drive so I have no doubt with an SSD installed in this we will get much higher, we will achieve much higher read and write speeds because the interface will allow us to do that I'll leave you now with a comparison of all three interfaces on the one screen, judge for yourselves.